Gelato is Italian ice cream. It's dense, creamy, smooth, flavorful. Morgan Marano has always had a sweet tooth. Hi, how you doing? She grew up in Long Island, but fell in love with Italy while studying on a college term abroad. Two single affogados. After she graduated, she lived in Florence on and off for six years. Nutella and hazelnut, half and half. And during that time, a chance encounter changed her life forever. And I saw this gelato shop, a Sicilian gelato shop on the outskirts of the city of Florence. And I struck up a conversation with the owner, Antonio Caffarelli. And I was eating their granita as I was talking to him, and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. So she asked him for a job, and that's how Morgan learned the art of mixing, topping, extracting, and serving real Italian gelato here in the shops at Chestnut Hill. We make all of our batches on site every day, different flavors every day, seasonal flavors, all traditional Italian flavors. I want people when they walk into the shop to feel like they're stepping into a gelateria in Italy. There are three main differences between Italian gelato and American ice cream. Number one, gelato is much lower in butter fat than American ice cream. Our gelato is between zero and eight percent butter fat. Zero percent is our store base. They're fat free. The gelato is well under ten percent butter fat, whereas American ice cream is well over ten percent. And I love American ice cream, but when I eat a cup of American ice cream, I do sort of sometimes feel a little heavy. With the gelato, I can eat a large cup. I'd never feel that way. Number two. Gelato is denser than American ice cream. The creaminess has to do with the fact that there's a lot less air in it. So that density makes it feel richer. Number three. Gelato is served at a warmer temperature than American ice cream. You should be able to perceive the flavor right away. So when you take a spoonful of pistachio, you don't need it to warm up in your mouth because it's already at that ideal temperature where right away you taste, oh, this is pistachio. Wow, it's so flavorful. That's all you need. Oh yeah, that's coffee. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's chocolate. Deep, dark, serious chocolate. Dark chocolate is my ultimate favorite flavor. It's rich, it's creamy, it's decadent. A dark chocolate for me is at the end of a long day here is usually what I go for. Other popular flavors include Nutella, orange, stracciatella or chocolate chip, Malaga, which is like a rum raisin, and creme brulee gelato that gets blowtorched for the perfect crispy caramelized coating. The real difference between gelato and ice cream, it's a quality versus quantity situation. You walk into an American ice cream shop, get a waffle cone with like 17 scoops, that's one thing. At a gelato shop, the cups are tiny, the spoons are tiny, flavor is huge. And it gets that way because every batch is made from scratch using top quality ingredients. We use local Thatcher Farm dairy and cream, delivered in glass bottles, old school style, which we love. And we use a Bravo Startronic, which is one of the top machines in the world for gelato making. The whole process from start to finish of prepping, putting it in the machine and heating it up, then freezing it, putting it in the blast freezer, garnishing it, putting it out is about half an hour per flavor. As soon as it's ready, it goes straight into to the case, and then it's ready to be spaded, not scooped. Traditional gelato should be served always with a spade. The key is to hold it up high and to make sure the gelato is the consistency you want it, which is that consistency right there. It's nice and soft, and it's a lot of fun, and people love seeing the artistry of scooping a cone, and um, you know, it's all part of the experience. If you'd prefer to sip your gelato, order the Affogato, featuring your favorite flavor with a shot of espresso poured over the top. And if you want to experience something really special, check out the brioche con gelato. It's Sicily's version of an ice cream sandwich. It looks like you're eating an ice cream hamburger, but it's fresh brioche that we heat up with the ice cream inside, so the brioche is like hot and toasted, but the gelato stays cold inside. That is a game changer here, folks. That's a game changer. All it takes is one taste, one sweet, rich, velvety taste, and you'll understand why Murano Gelato is so special. At the end of the day, it's ice cream, and we make it on site every day. People are eating it within minutes to hours of its extraction from the machine. It's just such a great product, and, and we just love seeing people enjoy it. Mm -hmm.